Hello, friends and foes. This is Sid. And he's a good boy. He's 13 weeks old. He has pneumonia. He's been taking up a lot of my time. He poops. He pees. We had to take him to the vet, to the little puppy doctor, um, because he got sick either uh, when he was on the plane, um, but I believe he was sick when he was with the breeder. He's got puppy pneumonia, so he's on medication, and he's been quite the handful to take care of, and this is the first time I have ever had to take care of something uh, <laughs> on my own like this. And so, say hello. Say hello to everybody. Yay. Um, boy, it's, you know, everyone, we need to be real with each other. Um, you need to be real with yourself. And I need to be real with, everyone needs to be real with themselves and everyone else. Um, so, yes. The Dragon Jr. failed. The trend came to an end. And so, when that happens and things go the opposite way that you think they'll go you know you try to assess and figure out okay what could I learn what could I learn from that mistake right and I picked up one I'm gonna talk about a mistake that I made and then we're gonna talk about mistakes you made I'll go first I'll say my first mistake was since we are in the uh, third period, the late period of a triangle, so when we were, right? Typically, it's a little smarter to wait to see what happens to make your move rather than betting on it before. So what I mean is, you know, it is what it is. What I mean is there was obviously bullish triangles and stuff going on just like it was every time before right i mean we did this we were short in the tops before had no problem but when it came to the end of the triangle the truth is is i should have waited to see um if i was right or not before putting the full trade in now it's easier said than done um and in fact we could have even been fooled by these marks right here but maybe not because you're still at the top of the triangle and so in hindsight if we started getting up here then it'd be like okay don't enter the trade or enter it long right if i'm not shorting you know if i wanted to long long it or do nothing right so if it would have broke down here if we start breaking down here boom that's when we could have entered the short since we're ending the triangle and yeah you know maybe we miss out on a couple hundred bucks but we knew that no matter what, whether this was going to go up or down, it was going to be a big move. And so we could have afforded to <clears throat> decrease our risk, um, which would you know, decrease our payout in the end when we exit. But uh, when we're in the end of a triangle, I will say that it's, it's smarter to wait um, to see, see the move. So that was my mistake. That's something I can take away end of the triangle see what what happens now that we got that out of the way let's talk about some of your mistakes over leveraged I made it rather clear that no one should be going over 5x leverage. If you're 5x, you're still in the clear. Um, you can still try to exit, break even, or do whatever you want to do, but you're, you didn't get liquidated. I'm getting messages from people telling me that they were 25x um, and that they had way too much money in the trade. So leverage is number one, over leverage. Trading with more than you could afford to lose, right? People, there's always sob stories whenever there's, whenever the price goes backwards. There's always, I, I, I did too much. Here's my story, yada, yada. You know what I mean? And so 
money management is real this this we are in the belly of the beast guys and um this triangle if you were with us from the beginning was absolutely kick ass i mean we had five or six killer trades we are super in the profit it's why we withdraw every day or at least you know when when there's trades going on and they're profiting you withdraw your profits right so this triangle made really good money for most people for people that maybe got in at this very end you know it went back the other way that stinks um so yeah as far as the uh the whale group um remember it's a lifetime membership and there's plenty of opportunity the reason why i don't do a monthly or a weekly type of deal is because i don't want to force trades or force myself or anyone else into trades where the probabilities um aren't to my liking for comfortability so if i ever want to take a day off or two days off or if there's not a trade for a day three days a week that's how it is we let the opportunities come to us right even right now it's kind of gray right there's bullish and bearish signals sunny decree has rainbows coming out of his eyes from his video yesterday boy was he sparkling when it was going up so good for you sunny decree good for you i view where we are right now as more resist we, we are at an obvious resistance point so my gut tells me to short you know um because there's a lot of profits i heard an argument someone said that if you're if anyone in crypto is selling bitcoin right now there, there's no one with bitcoin selling at four thousand they're not making any money that is completely wrong most people that the people that own the majority of bitcoin have owned for years last year it was at a thousand bucks trust me there's plenty of money to be made selling it at forty one hundred and four thousand dollars for sure So um, as far as me, I'm just waiting. Um, I don't have any major positions, anything like that right now. There's actually killer swing trading opportunities right now. This actually looks like a good short opportunity to me. We're kind of going into a hike in the sheet, green length, short it. You know, I could short it down to 4,100, a $70 difference with leverage. That makes a lot of money actually the, the to me. Um, Smart money isn't ping pong and up and down with $50, $100 moves because they really add up. They add up quite a bit. So don't over leverage. Um, if you message me saying that you were over leverage and yada, 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 you want a refund for the whale group. There is no refunds in crypto. And it makes me think I need to increase the, amount, the, the price. The reason why it's the, the price for the whale group is 500 it's it's called whale group not buy in with the last money you have and go all in on a trade and if it goes backwards that's your rent money that's not what whales do that's not what i want you to do if you can't afford comfortably to do it don't there is plenty of information that i give for free I haven't seen Alan Masters actually on uh, trading view today. That is a bullish signal. So we're going to keep an eye on that indicator. So right now I am not planning on any big moves. I might be swinging and scalping these hundred dollar hundred dollar scalps hundred dollar moves big time and taking care of this little guy okay so i'm still here relax flopping and gropers and uh we have it's not even december yet 
There is so much opportunity. Oh, <laughs> what did you do? A lot of opportunity. We're going to keep getting it. Enjoy life. Don't, I know it sounds cliche, but don't trade with what you can't afford. This is all gambling. It's all gambling in the end. And you don't want to gamble with your rent money or your family or your kids' money, you know? So, take this. If, if, uh, just always reflect, always check yourself. I know I sure do. I always have more to learn. My cup is not full. I am a student. I am always absorbing, always trying to be better. And, um, yeah, so... I'm looking to short this. I, I think I'm looking to short this. And then take a nice little swing. Or a nice little nice little scalp. Okay? I think that's pretty much it. We're going to keep an eye on things. Evaluate your mistakes and what you can actually do to execute better. I got mine. Next time, we're in the end of a triangle. We're going to wait to see the move. We're going to wait for the move at the end of the triangle. These moves earlier, we, we, we were good. We nailed the hell out of these. But yeah, when we're at the end of the triangle and there's and the big moves coming, I should have waited. Mm -hmm. So what should you have done? Peace.